we're going to be talking about cellular decomposition. Okay, got it right for once. Alright, so cellular decomposition is a very simple concept. Basically, first of all, it's just an extension of a graph. When you think about a graph, you think about a set of points or dots or nodes, whatever you want to call them, and edges. So in this case, we can kind of call these nodes 0D and these edges 1D. Now, what if we added extra dimensions to this? What if we added a two-dimensional or a three-dimensional edge? So this would be known as E0. This will be known as E1, E2, E3, so on and so forth. So the best example of this is just a sphere. So a sphere zero would just be a 1D sphere that is two equidistant points from the origin. So now two equidistant points are just two nodes. This one would be E0, and this one would be E0. So it's a disjoint union of the two. E0 union E0. Then, if we have S1, that would be the 2D sphere, which looks... No, uh, the 2D sphere, which is just a circle, so it looks like this. You have one edge going this way, the other edge going this way. So you have E0 union E0 union E1 union E1. Then... You have the 2D sphere, which looks like this. Our, no, our 3D sphere, which looks like this. Our earlier 2D sphere is right over here. Then we add a 2D surface stretching all over this side and another 2D surface stretching all over this side. So that means we have E0 union E0, union E1, union E1. Union E2, Union E2. Now, there are, of course, more examples of this, but the sphere is the easiest one. Now, we want a better definition. We want to formalize this and apply it to more tricky cases, like the Klein bottle. So, we'll do that next time.